So it's this easy to create a simple guitar melody. What's up and welcome to another video and today we're going to create a simple guitar beat for beginners which is inspired by Polo G and Lil Baby. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to keep it as simple as possible and take you through every step. So first I'm adjusting the BPM to 157 or I'm going to use contact from native instruments and I'm going to use the electric sunburst deluxe. Let's pick another preset. So let's use the clean Americana preset. And I'm gonna create this melody in C minor. So I'm gonna select view, scale highlighting, C minor, natural. So I'm starting off with this simple chord progression. So we're now I'm adjusting this one. Pitch it one octave higher, like this. And this way it's very easy to start off with creating the guitar melody. So let's extend this one. So first we're gonna build all the bass notes. Right now I use this one. And I want to create a kind of simple chord progression. So I'm using an F and let's start off with this D. So we're using this D sharp and this D. All right, now let's chop it up. So I'm starting off with the melody. Let's fire. Let's add another note right here. That's crazy. So right now, just copy this part. And to keep it simple, we're gonna not make that many adjustments in this part of the guitar melody. So maybe just to C, which sounds should sound very logic. Then just copy this one again, one note down. For example, to A. Turn this one up. Maybe we go downwards right here. That goes perfect. And maybe still make some adjustments because this one sounds way too simple because we added some notes right here, we're gonna do something maybe a little bit similar. So add a note right here and right here. So that's it bro, now it sounds way too quantized and like it's played by a computer and we're gonna make some adjustments to avoid this. And a simple trick is to play around with the velocity of every individual note. So you could just do this by simply selecting note velocity and then play around. For example, something like this. And this simply recreates that when you're playing a guitar, you're not hitting the string every time with the same force. So this basically means you're reducing the amplitude. And we're doing something similar right here by adjusting the velocity. So this is my final guitar melody. And to make the final tweaks, you could shorten the notes a little bit and also add a stromizer and a randomizer. You could do this by pressing option R and you could randomize the velocity and make sure to disable reset before processing because otherwise it will reset all the changes you've already made. So right now you could adjust the amplitude of all the notes and you could also use the strumizer just to strum some of the individual notes. So right now it sounds like this. So right now let's play around. I think I'm gonna turn it up one octave. I think this way it sounds way much better. So I'm gonna link it to the mixer, start off by insert 10. And right now I'm gonna add some effects. So first let's use the RC20, scroll through the presets. I'm always disabling the noise. So this one add some distortion. I'm just gonna leave it this way. And then I'm gonna add the Valhalla Vintage Verb. And when it comes to a guitar, I'm always just using the concert hall, 
reduce the mix and remove all the pre-delay. Remove the low frequencies. Just a wobble and the magnetic around 5%. So that's it, I'm gonna leave it this way. So right now we're gonna add another element. And in this case, I want to add a kind of vocal sample shot, something like that. So let's use the argumented voices from Artoria. So I found this Ochera preset. I'm just gonna leave it on default. I will now simply just copy these notes, paste it into this one. And we start off with these notes. So this is the original chord progression. So I made some adjustments to the chord, but right now I think this one sounds way much better. So right now I'm just gonna add the trumps to keep it simple. So I'm gonna use the Trap Producer Kit. I'm gonna pick a snare, let's use this one. I'm gonna start by building a simple snare loop. So that's it, and right now I'm gonna add the hi-hats. So let's use this one, use the pain function, Draw in some notes. So by pressing option A, you could easily create a roll. So it's pretty simple to create this hi-hat loop. So right now pick an 808. So I'm gonna select normalized. Let's use this one, which is one of my favorite 808s to use. As you can see, it's already in C, so we don't have to make any adjustments to the root node. And then I'm gonna create a square, and then just simply start off at C. And then the next node is F. And the final thing which I want to add is a kick. So let's use a loud kick. Let's use this one and then just create something similar to the 808. So right now I'm gonna link all my drums with the mixer. So simply select them like this, open the mixer, select insert one or insert two prefer, channel routing and then select the second one. And I'm also adding the focus shot to the mixer. So right now I'm gonna sidechain the kick to the 808. So right mouse button, sidechain to this track. And lately I'm using the new Kickstarter 2, but right now I'm gonna use the Fruity Limiter. And this will eventually get a way cleaner mix. So select compression, then select sidechain one. So just scroll up, then adjust the threshold to knee and the ratio, something like this. Two to one. And then just have a listen. Just release, so a shorter release. So this sounds way much better. And adjust the volume of the guitar to minus 15 dB. So right now we've added all the elements and right now I'm gonna split all the layers. So right mouse button on pattern one. So on the pattern selector, and then select split by channel. So right now I split up all the channels, select them by holding and pressing shift, and just drag them in into the arrangement. Simple way. So select it, control C, control B four times, for example. And first, just let's start off with the melody, then remove those ones. And for example, remove the kick. So that's it. So I still don't like the preset from RC20. So I've almost disabled the wobble, adjusted it to 2%. So I want to add another element and I'm using this siren. The typical 808 Mafia siren. And right now it's not in the same tempo as the project. So I'm gonna adjust it manually. So zoom in, then just adjust the time. Something like this should be fine and then lower the volume. And then press E generic, so it pitches down. So that's it and right now we're gonna have a listen.
kick coming in. Maybe also use a kick right here. Argument advices. So that's it, and we're now going to wrap up the video. So thank you so much for watching this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also make sure to download this free FLP, the link is in the description. I've also exported all the stems, so make sure to play around with the sample, and I hope to see you in one of my next tutorials.